Once there was a sly old fox, a very sly fox who loved to eat chickens. He lived in the woods near Mr. Crowley's farm. On the farm there were many animals who thought the fox was nice, but he was not. Secretly, the sly fox dreamed of catching little chicks and eating them. And he would have done so long ago if it had not been for Papa Rooster and a great big dog named Gruffy. Big Gruffy lived just outside the chicken coop, next to Papa Rooster, Mama Hen, Clucky, and Penny. Papa Rooster and Mama Hen taught Clucky, Penny, and the other chicks to stay away from the sly fox. They also warned, never talk to strangers, even if they are friendly. Clucky always answered, I will never talk to strangers. What did Papa Rooster and Mama Hen try to warn the chicks about? Lisa? The sly fox and strangers because they don't want the baby chicks to get hurt. Right. And you know, we ought to learn to trust our parents. You know, you might not always understand why, but if you're wise, you say, okay, that's what Papa and Mama said, I'm gonna trust them. Let's see what happens. One day as the fox thought of how he might fool the chicks, he saw a lambskin hanging by the barn. Suddenly his eyes lit up. I've got a great idea. I'll steal the skin and pretend to be a harmless little lamb. As the fox put on the lambskin, he laughed and said, <laughs> This will be a perfect trick to get the little chicks. They won't be afraid of a little lamb. The fox could see Clucky and Penny playing outside with their friends, but he waited until Papa Roost and Mama Hen were busy inside the chicken coop. Gruffy was taking a nap when the fox walked by. Gruffy heard a noise, and he opened his eyes. But when he saw it was just a lamb, he went back to sleep. The fox said with a sad voice, Excuse me, little chicks, but have you seen my little lost sister? Clucky did not say a word. He never talked to strangers. But his sister did. What do we find Clucky doing here? Gerard? Obeying his parents. Yes! His parents warned him not to talk to strangers, so Clucky is going to obey. But not his sister. We don't talk to strangers, said Penny. Oh, I'm not a stranger, lied the fox. I'm just a nice lamb trying to be your friend. Could you please help me find my little lost sister? No, yelled Penny. Then they all ran away. Oh, grumbled the fox. Now I must think of another trick. The next day, the sly fox came by pulling a new wagon. Hey, little chicks, he said with a big smile. Would anyone like to ride in my new wagon? Clucky did not say a word. He never talked to strangers. But his sister did. We can't take rides with strangers, said Penny. Oh, I'm not a stranger, said the sly fox. I'm just a little lamb trying to be your friend. I'll give you this candy if you'll ride in my new wagon. No, shouted Penny. Then they all walked away. The fox was mad, very mad. I must think of a better trick, he growled. He thought and thought. Then he clapped his hands and laughed. I've got a great idea. I know just how to trick them. The fox ran all the way home laughing a wicked laugh. Notice the first time the chicks ran away and the fox came back again? Now what did the chicks do? John? They walked away. Yes, the first time they ran away, now they're walking away. And that's what strangers do. They keep on coming back so you get accustomed to them. And unfortunately, there are sometimes people who want to hurt boys and girls. And that's why your parents tell you, stay away from strangers that don't talk to them. Let's see what happens now with the sly fox. The next day, the fox watched until Papa Roost and Mama Hen left to go shopping. Then he ran to the chicken coop and showed the chicks a badge. Hey chicks, 
I'm Sheriff of the Woods. Your dad and mom have just been hurt in a bad accident. Clucky did not say a word. He never talked to strangers, but his sister did. Penny began to cry. What happened to Papa and Mama, she asked. They are badly hurt in a hospital, lied the fox. Your dad and mom said you should go with me to the hospital. Don't go with strangers, Clucky warned. It's okay to come with me, said the fox. I'm your friend, the sheriff. See my badge? As Penny thought what she should do, Clucky was shaking his head, saying no. Finally, Penny said, we can't go with strangers. Then they slowly walked away. Now the fox was very, very angry. There must be a better way to trick them, he growled. What is the fox determined to do? Kaylee? He was determined to eat the little chicks. Yes! He's determined to get those chicks. And we have to be careful sometimes of, of strangers because they want to do some bad things. And we see here Penny is slowly talking more and more. But Clucky, he doesn't say anything. I've got a perfect trick, the fox said to himself. The next day he came again. Hey, little chicks, he said with a sweet voice. Do you like corn? Did they like corn? That was their favorite food. They liked it better than candy. Shh, whispered the fox. Now don't tell anyone, but I know a secret place where you can have lots of fun and where there is plenty of the most delicious corn you have ever tasted. Then the fox reached into a bag. Here, taste this. He gave the chicks a few kernels of corn. Mmm, mmm, said Penny, rubbing her stomach. That's the best corn I've ever tasted. Taste it, said Penny to Clucky, but Clucky would not even touch it. I'm obeying Papa and Mama, said Clucky. I don't eat food from strangers. But his sister did. He's not a stranger, said Penny. Look at him. He's just a little lamb. See how nice he looks and how sweetly he talks? He just wants to be our friend. It doesn't matter if he's friendly, said Clucky. Pop and Mama don't know him, so I'm not going. What is Penny trying to get Clucky to do? All right, Raquel? So eat the corn. Yes. Come on, Clucky. Eat this corn. It's good. But what is Clucky determined to do here? Davin? Not do it. Why, Davin? Because he wants to obey his parents. Yes, he's going to obey his parents. Now, he wanted that corn, too. But he's listening to his parents. He's a wise chick. Come with me, said the fox very sweetly, and I'll show you where you can have lots of fun and get all the corn you'll ever want. Yippee, yelled Penny. Then I won't have to eat this old dried food anymore. Let's go right away, said another chick. I'm hungry. As they left, the fox gave Clucky a great big smile and said, Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Clucky never answered. He really wanted to go and eat the delicious corn, but he trusted his dad and mom. They had warned him, never take food from strangers and never ever go with them. Clucky was sad as he watched Penny and her two friends climb on some logs and jump over the fence. I just can't wait to eat more of that delicious corn, said one of the chicks. Me too, said Penny. We're so lucky to have such a nice friend. You notice how the fox is talking? How is he talking? Esther? Sweetly. Sweetly. A nice, sweet voice. But watch his real character. It's going to be coming up pretty soon. The fox, true to his word, led the chicks straight to the cornfield. Wow, cried Penny. Look at all that corn. It's everywhere. They began to eat and eat and eat. Mmm, mmm, said Penny. This is yummy food. It sure is, said another chick. Clucky sure was foolish for not coming with us. 
he's going to have to eat that old dried food. Then they all laughed at Clucky for being so foolish. What did the chicks think about Clucky? Shannon? They thought he was foolish because he didn't come and eat the good corn. They make fun of him. <laughs> you didn't go. You're missing out all this fun. Come on with us. But Clucky is listening to his parents. Now the fox was hungry, very hungry, and ready for supper. He called the chicks, come over here and I'll show you where to find the best corn. All the chicks started to come. No, no, said the fox, just one at a time. Out go, said one of the chicks as he pushed to the front. He wanted to be first to taste the best corn. The fox took the chick deep into the cornfield. Then the fox said very kindly, here's the place. Now you can eat all the corn you want. Thank you, Mr. Lamb, said the chick as it bent down to taste the corn. Thank you for being such a nice friend. All at once, the fox leaped at the chick and with one hungry gulp, he swallowed it. Why did I have the fox eating the chick? Gerard? Because you wanted to show how children should listen to their parents and not do what they do, want to do. Yes. I could have had the chicks just run away and scared. But you know, there are some wicked people. Not many. Not many. You don't have to run around being afraid of everybody that's out there. But there are some people that really want to hurt boys and girls. And you got to listen to your parents. So I made it so the fox ate the chick. Not that you walk around scared. I don't think we have to do that. But just listen to your parents. You'd be a lot smarter if you do. The fox came back to where the other two chicks were eating. Isn't this yummy food, asked the smiling fox as he licked his lips. Oh, yes, they answered, never even looking up. Thank you for being such a good friend. Who wants to be next, asked the fox. I do, I do, shouted Penny. Notice, how is the fox still speaking now? Huh? Jordan? Sweetly. Real nice and sweet. But he's wicked inside. And that's the way sometimes people are. They're so sweet on the outside, but inside there's a lot of wickedness inside from strangers. So you got to be careful. I have in this book one of the most dangerous things in the world for young children. Now, obviously, it's not a person in this book, but this sounds like a person. And this person talks with the sweetest voice, just the kind of voice that you would like to hear. But this person may be 25, 35, 40, even 50 years old, and you will not know that because they're talking to you. And guess how? They are talking to you with this little thing over here. Notice over here. On the internet, it's the computer. Now this computer has a lot, a lot of good things. I use it all the time. But there's lots and lots of bad things on that computer. And there's people on that computer, they're just like this sly fox. Now this sly fox is a lambskin. To try to fool young children because they want to do things that hurt them. They want to do bad things to children. And they get on there. And your parents, what they do now, if you have a lot of parents and they love you, they're going to put controls on the computer. And they're going to say, you can't have a computer in your bed. Well, I want a computer in my room too, like so and so. No, no, they're going to say no. They're going to put all kinds of protection controls out there because they know there's sly foxes out there that want to hurt you. And you may not like this, but if you're smart, you say you're going to understand it. And what they have on the internet and through the emails is all kinds of trash. Oh, what stuff gets on that email. I don't open it up and I'm a grown man. And don't you either. Protect your mind that you don't see all those images that come on there. And then there's another nice thing, chat rooms and instant messaging where you can type to your friends and send emails and different information to them. But remember, when you type that and you put that out on the internet, there's these little 
sly foxes, and they're not really so little there. Well, you think they're little, but they're grown men. They're out there just looking, spying the internet, seeing some gullible little young boy or girl that they can get and hurt. So never put personal information, not your school, your phone, your address or name. Don't ever do that. And if you use chat rooms, give yourself a screen name. Say your name is Jane. Don't say my name is Jane. You say I'm going to use my name Mary. And these people, you know what they do? They, they send nice, loving emails. They talk so sweet, so nice. Oh, I would just love to meet this person. Now, if you would see what, who's really typing that, yeah, you scream, hey, who's that person? That's like the, uh, the fox here. And, but they talk to you, they're so understanding, they want to, you know, I would just love to send you a gift. You know, I really love you, I would love to send you a gift. No, don't give out that information. Oh, but it's free, no. And so I want to say that beware, beware, and I'll say it the third time. Beware, never give out personal information on the web. And never, by all means, never meet anyone. They want to meet you on the web. Always, remember, always check with your parents. Your parents are there to help you, to protect you. And so if you have any questions, always go to them and ask them, Mom, Dad, this is what's happening. Because they love you and they want the best for you. As Penny hurried toward the fox, Suddenly she stopped. Beside his mouth was a tiny white chicken feather. Penny got scared. Where's my friend? The fox opened his mouth and showed his big teeth. Down here, he shouted. You're not a nice little lamb, Penny screamed. You're a wicked fox. Yes, I am, growled the fox. And I'm going to eat both of you. The chicks screamed and ran as fast as they could, but it was too late for one of them. As they hurried away, the fox snatched and gobbled up the slowest chick, but he was still very hungry. You can't get away from me, shouted the fox as he raced toward the last chick. The chicks screamed, help, help, and ran as fast as it could. The farm animals heard the chicks screaming. Closer and closer came the fox. Then the speedy fox lowered his head and opened his jaws. Just as he was about to gobble up the chick, he heard... It was a horrible growl. What? Where? Who is that? wondered the frightened fox. It was Gruffy. The fox put out his feet, but he could not stop fast enough. He skidded right into Gruffy. They met nose to nose. Hello there, my friend, said the scared fox. Gruffy never said a word. He ate my friends, cried the chick. Growled Gruffy. The fox knew he was in deep trouble. Did you see me eat them, asked the quick thinking fox. No, I didn't see you, said the chick, but I know you did. There you have it, said the fox to Gruffy. You know, kids, they just make up stories. Gruffy looked at the chick, and then he looked at the fox. The nervous fox began to shake all over. You mustn't believe the chick. Ask anyone. All the animals know I'm a nice fox. I was just playing tag. Then Gruffy saw a small feather by the fox's mouth. He knew who was lying and it was not the chick. What is the fox? What kind of a person is the fox here? All right, John? A liar. He's a liar. And that's what strangers are many times. They want to hurt children, they're liars. And he's, oh, I'm just playing tag. But he's lying. Ruffy grabbed the wicked fox and said, don't you ever come back here again. Gruffy tossed the fox far away. Then Gruffy and the chick started to go home. Papa Rooster, Mama Hen, and Clucky were waiting by the fence. Then they saw Gruffy and the lone chick walking toward them. The chick looked scared and very sad. Everyone knew something bad had happened. 
When they came inside the fence, the chick cried as she told how the fox tricked her and ate the other two chicks. Then they all cried together for a long time. Why did all this happen? Yes, Shannon. Because the chicks didn't listen to their parents. Yes! And now the parents are crying, the chicks are crying. Everyone say it because they didn't listen. And if something would happen to you, your parents would cry and cry and cry. I love my children. And that's why I warn my children. And so learn to listen to them. Then Papa wiped his tears and said softly, I'm so sad this happened. Everyone needs to learn there are strangers in the world who want to hurt little chicks. Promise me that you will never, never again talk to strangers. The scared little chick looked up at Papa, Mama, and Clucky. Then with a shaky little voice and with tears in her eyes said, I will never, never again talk to strangers. Papa hugged her and whispered, I love you, Penny. An award-winning song from Character Kids! <laughs> if the friends you found got you Sneaking around and doing things You shouldn't do And if you're thinking that your parents Have not a clue Sometimes you learn a lesson or two And so today I've got to ask this question of you Visit our website at www.advancepublishing.com. <laughs>